Okay, friend, today I'm gonna show you how to improve your FPS in the new game Lawbreakers. Uh, right now, the servers are currently down, so I will not go inside of the game. I will show you where you can find the config files and where you can change the, the graphics. So, first of all, you need to go to the your uh, main drive, users, the name of your drive, uh, app data, local, Lawbreakers, save. You have two different files like you can use. The first one is this one, but uh, don't use it because it's more complicated to change it. Uh, you have to write word in it like I medium and stuff like that. So we're going to use the file with uh, the numbers. You need to click config, Windows client and game use user settings. So over there, it's pretty much the same thing in each game. Uh, you have the resolution that you're playing uh benchmark frame rate limit if you want to add some uh but uh you don't have a lot of option in this game because you can just change uh the scalability groups for your uh, graphic parameters so first of all shadow quality this one put zero that's a cool option in this game because you can't remove shadows so a lot of game i'll give you uh, some uh, three options high medium or low this one you can remove it for each bracket for shadow quality, uh, I saw an improvement 3 to 4 FPS for each bracket. So if you remove it, you will gain 10 to 11 FPS depending on your video card. So uh, that's pretty good. The uh, other one that you really need to check is uh, effect quality and foliage. Those two, you can gain 2 to 3 FPS for each uh, bracket. So uh, maybe just lower a little bit the effects and the foliage. It's not, it's not like... Uh, a big thing to to um, lower them because first of all the game you want to be fast and it's a competitive game so uh, it will not decrease your performance if you lower uh, those uh, parameter uh, the last one that is very important is the uh, anti-aliasing this one you can stay at one but you will see a big decrease so test one or two uh, but don't put zero over there uh, you will see that uh, a lot of like uh, how can I say that um, a lot of break line uh, across your uh, tune or your gun and stuff it's not clean you will see everything a little bit moving so uh, it's really important to when you play a shooter to 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 use minimum uh, fxaa for anti-aliasing because uh if not a lot of stuff are moving but they're not moving because uh, uh, an opponent is moving it's just moving because you don't have anti-aliasing so just use it and the last thing is maybe your uh, view distance quality. Uh, if you really have a low hand rig, uh, you will need to lower that a little bit because if you see less in front of you, you will render less, so you will gain FPS. Okay, really important. So that's about it for now, uh, for now, guys. I don't know if they will add more option in the game because right now we don't have a lot of stuff that we can move. But still, uh, it's, uh, you can start with the shadow and probably you will gain your 60 FPS. So if you have any uh, comment, just comment it on the YouTube uh, section. Uh, post me your CPU, your GPU, and even your RAM. And I will try to, to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to sub. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.